Hello there and welcome to this new tutorial, tutorial number 8 of the GCI CAP module of the Moose framework. In this module I'm going to show you the control air patrol and refueling capability within the GCI CAP module. Refueling is a little bit complicated and requires some setup but it provides you a rewarding defense mechanism where your airborne uh, defenders which are performing control air patrol can quickly go and refuel their tanks at an airborne tanker. There are two ways to set up refuel. The first way is to set up refueling as a default. That means that for all the squadrons defined within your GCI CAP module the refuel will happen at a specific tanker that is airborne. Or you can specify specific refueling uh, mechanisms for a specific squadron and you can define a tanker, a specific tanker to a squadron for mid-air refueling. So how does refueling work? It's actually very easy. So when a plane is performing control air patrol within its zone, its fuel tank is being consumed, right? So its fuel is, is becoming more and more empty while being airborne and when a certain fuel threshold is being reached then the airplane will stop the control air patrol function and will fly to the assigned tanker which could be default or which could be specific for the squadron. The airplane will then refuel midair and when the refuel is being finished it will continue its control air patrol in the zone and this provides a very efficient defense mechanism where if you have two airplanes that have been spawned at specific times with a specific time range in between, then you will always have a continuous uh, presence in the control air patrol zone. The tanker needs to be defined within the mission editor, or it can also be, let's say, uh, dynamically spawned. You can even set up using the spawn object a continuous presence of a tanker in the air. When a tanker is out of fuel it would return to the home base and it, a new tanker would be respawned. So I'm going to demonstrate in a, in a mission now and using the script that I've developed for this demonstration how this is all working. For this demonstration I created a mission called Refuel and Tanker Test which is AID 16 and when you look at the setup it's actually very easy. I'm having a couple of templates here defined on the red side. Just normal airplanes. And I've created a patrol on Galenzik and Sochi. For each of these squadrons I defined a dedicated zone. In this case a trigger zone where the patrol will happen. The name of the Galen squadron patrol zone is patrol zone Galenz and the name of the patrol zone Sochi is patrol zone. Now here comes something interesting. I've defined two tankers. I've defined a default tanker with the group name tanker that will do a continuous waste race track pattern in orbit between the start node and node number one. It will fly 600 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 2000 meters. I've also defined a specific tanker for the Galenzik squadron, which is called Tanker Galent, which is also doing an orbit between the source, between this node and node number one. Now let me get to the script and so you understand that, you know, the EWR network is going to detect is detecting but it's not about detection here really. We are here just uh, spawning at regular intervals control air patrol units that will fly around into the patrol zones here and I'm measuring you know the system is measuring the fuel uh, contents of the defender and when the fuel tank has reached a certain threshold the defender will stop patrolling in the zone and will fly towards the tanker and will refuel and will return. Let me show you very quickly how this is working. Right, so here is my demonstration mission. At the start I'm going to click on Game Master and fly. I'm not really seated in an airplane at all. 
I'm just going to monitor what is happening in Galenzik and what is happening in Sochi. So airplanes will spawn here and here, or here, or here. We'll fly towards the patrol zone here, or towards the patrol zone there. And then I will jump into one of those planes and monitor the fuel contents. And I'll demonstrate what's happening. I'm going to speed up a little bit the time here. So I'm doing a time acceleration, let's say around 16. And in a minute, some of those planes will spawn. So we're three minutes far. Here we are, there's the first plane. It's a bit, yeah, now it's getting smooth. So when a plane starts and it starts its flight, the, you know, the system is a bit CPU intensive and, and will stop a little bit. This is default DCS behavior and has nothing to do with uh, the scripting at all. Okay, so now we're here. So now I'm going to jump, let's say, in this plane. So what will happen here is I've put a threshold around 80% here. And once the 80% has been reached, it will fly to this tanker. This is going to be the SU-30, as you can see on the status panel. And the F-91, F-91 is the fuel left in its tanks in percentage. So F-90% left. I'm going to speed up a bit again. And so we're at... 86 it's still patrolling the other one went for refueling that's good but i'm not going to demonstrate that one so now we're getting to refueling excellent right now it's flying towards the tanker there you go there's the tanker and it will nicely refuel this is a standard DCS function. I haven't developed this within the Moose framework, right? So it's just tanking, you know, refueling at the moment. And watch the contents of the SU-30. So now the refueling has happened and we're back at 98% tank. And the plane will go back into patrol zone. And we'll just, yeah, restart its patrol. So, same here, right? So this one is refueling at the moment. Excellent, I will take the view from the plane. Right, so refueling is happening. And the SU-34 is now on tank contents 90, 95, 90, excellent. And now it's getting back into patrol. Let me show you very quickly how patrol works then again. Right? It's not a rocket science, yeah? Okay. Let me speed that up a bit. Right. Tanks are empty again. You know, because I put 90%, it doesn't take a lot of time for him to return. It's for testing, yeah? Okay. So here we are again, tanking. Excellent. Tank returned. And tanking. Refueling. So, yeah. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to show you the script. But before I do that, um, let me quickly generate a re-documentation here. Quickly. And let me get into the script here on how this is working when you code it. So I'm not going to get into all of this again. So this is, you know, Detection area sets the detection. This is the dispatcher construction taking the detection. Then a couple of options here be set. This is the interesting part. So I'm setting up a squadron Soshi. I am setting up a control air patrol process for Soshi in patrol zone with a couple of parameters. I'm doing a cap interval between 30 and 600 seconds. A Soshi cap will spawn. And then here are the interesting methods. The first, in, the first method is I'm setting the default threshold for all the squadrons. That would mean for Sochi and for Galant at 90%. So when so at 90%, when the fuel tank is as 90% left, two things may happen. When no tanker is being set, that plane will go return to base 
and a new defender will spawn from the base and will fly towards the patrol zone and will continue its patrol or when you set a default tanker which is done here and that's going to be the group name of the tanker that has been defined within the mission editor so that will then result in for all the squadrons to not go rtb when the fuel threshold has been reached but that will um, result in the defenders exiting the control air patrol zone and fly towards the tank for refueling and this one here then sets the gallant uh, squadron again with the parameters in its own zone and will then set up specific uh, refuel threshold for the squadron in this case 80% so it will overwrite the 90% here and it will also set a specific tanker for a squadron Galent with a tanker named Galent so that means that the defenders patrolling in the control air patrol zone will not fly to tanker but to tanker Galent and this is exactly what I've shown you in this demonstration of course this is all also documented when we go to the documentation you will find the control air patrol uh, documentation chapter which is chapter 7 and there you can see the description in chapter 7.3 of the squadron tanker to refuel when executing a control air patrol and the defender is out of fuel so here's the explanation there are two uh, functions that are explained is the default tanker method and the squadron tanker method and you can click on those so set default tanker and then here you see an example and the description of what are the parameters of that or you can click on the set squadron tanker which sets a tanker for a specific squadron of course then you need the squadron name the tanker name with an example and this is for the, here you see a picture of the setup that i just explained and then the example here that is actually also documented within the AIB, aid 016 um, mission example and i will add that in the mission i will put a link here towards this mission once i finish the documentation properly there's another thing I would like to explain you, that is the default settings. So when you go down, you see here, right, some, some settings here that have been defined. And also, you know, description of, of the default tanker and, you, and also a description of the default threshold, right? Which is the, um, the method that you can use to set the defaults for the fuel threshold. The fuel threshold can also be set per squadron, so you have a squadron fuel threshold that you can do, which you can then define like this here, with an example specified as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration here. Um, so the refueling capability for control air patrols is a very interesting feature that has been added within the GCI CAP module of the Moose Framework the requirement had been defined and i'm going to the github site issues this requirement had been registered by beam rider 14 we call him also sierra 99 on the eagle dynamics forums let me show you so i'm going here very quickly and i'm going to the um let me go here, Mission Builders Corner. And it was a bit active on the CAP and GCI fighter script here. This is Sierra 99. This one is a campaign tester. So he set up this requirement for the AI dispatcher. I'm going to quickly finish this. Beam Rider. Hope you like the new development for the re fueling and thank you very much for your time this has uh, been um, a very interesting thing to make and see you in the next tutorial bye bye